Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome to the month of June. It's been six months. We have, we're in the middle of the year. I don't see people even joyful. I say hallelujah. Woo! Glory. Many started, they did not reach this month. Amen. Mm -hmm. Can we be grateful to God one more time? Can you clap and shout? Yes. Glory. Yes. Hallelujah. God has been faithful from the beginning, January until today. God has been faithful. God has been constant and consistent in the way he loves us, in the way he blesses us, in the way he guides us, in the way he protects us. God has been faithful. And today we just want to come again and give him the best praise ever. Because even in the time of our crying, the, the, the joy of the Lord remains our strength. Amen. He has guided. I don't know about you, but I know God has been faithful to me. And today I want to praise him because... Because he calls me friend. Are you a servant or are you a friend? Let me see the friend of God in the house. Uh, let me see the friend of Jesus in the house. Let me read this in John 15, 15. The Bible says, I no longer call you servant because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friend. For everything I have learned from my father, I have made it known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I have appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last so that whatever you ask in my name, the father in heaven will do it. I don't know about you, I'm so grateful that I am a friend of God. It's a privilege for me to be a friend of God. So I'm going to praise him today. Who's going to praise the Lord with me today? Can you begin to clap to the Lord? I am 
What a faithful God it is that we come before this morning, but we didn't come without our strength. I know that you are here for a reason, and it is to worship the Lord your God, to worship your creator, the God that has made it possible for you and I to be here this morning. But can we do something different this morning? Can we go and plead for forgiveness this morning? of anything that we may have done, have thought of, have said that does not honor God, that may hinder your worship to you this morning. Because I don't want you to come here and it be another ritual or watch us online. It's a Sunday, I turn online. But I want you to have an experience this morning through the Holy Spirit. So we're gonna go before the Lord and plead for forgiveness. Father God, we thank you for this morning. What a blessed day it is that you have blessed us with we have done nothing to deserve your breath of life that people are in the hospital paying for right now. And some have lost it completely. Even the hospital cannot help them. Who am I, Father? Who am I that you're so mindful of me? Who are we, Father, as a church, that you've been so mindful of us? From Sunday to Sunday, you've been with us. You went through the storms and the fire. You have been with us. Some went through the water. You've been with them. Father, nothing in our hearts will hinder our worship to you this morning. Father, nothing 
in our hearts will hinder what you want to do here this morning. Our worship is unto you and not unto man. So Father, come and take control. Come and take control, Holy Spirit. Thank you for what you're going to do here this morning. Our God is so holy, there's no way we have the audacity to come into his presence with the filth in our hearts and raise unholy hands to him. But he is quick to forgive. He's such a loving father. He's such a faithful friend that he never ever cast us away from his presence. All we need is to go into his presence. Because he's a holy God. He is holy. He's holy and this morning we're going to cry out holy. We're going to join the angels above to cry holy. Holy are you Lord almighty. Holy, holy, holy. Your name is the greatest. Your name is the greatest. Your name is the greatest. 
much power in the name of Jesus there is so much his, his word says that at the mention of my name every knee will bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord his word is true his word has been constant as much as a lot of things have been done to the Bible but the truth stands the grave that my Savior laid in is still where it is and it's still empty that is evidence enough that his word is true. Do you trust him this morning? Do you trust him with your heart this morning? Do you trust him with your mind? He said that before you were formed in the womb of your mother, he knew you. He knew you by your name. He knows the amount of hair on your head. So what is above this God? What is too big for him to do? That you're even contemplating forsaking your, your faith because of circumstances of this life. But God is faithful. His name is greater. I want you to call upon the name of Jesus this morning by faith. He said whatever we ask in his name. Whatever we ask in his name. We're gathered here this morning in his name, not in my name. Not in the name of any man that have sinned. My father have never sinned. He's faithful. His words are true. So can we take a few minutes to just 
if you don't have anything to to ask him for it's fine but intercede for us the church intercede for us that the Lord the glory of the Lord will come down once again in the name of Jesus please pray Yeah. 